This is new at 11. We're following the search for a group of nine thieves accused of stealing cars across the Bronx. The NYPD saying they've hit five businesses in just the last week, sometimes terrorizing workers in the process. News Force Checky Beckford live tonight in the Fordham section where one employee Checky was beaten and bound. Well, David, that worker tried to get away, but the robbers, one of them pointing a gun, forced their way into the office here of the parking lot in what has become a string of often violent car thefts. The brazen robberies captured on video. Watch as the robbers, one armed, push their way into the office at GN Sun's parking lot. One pointing the gun at the 57 year old attendant, shoving him to the floor. Two days before, five men are seen beating a 66 year old worker at a Parkchester parking lot. They push him, they push him down. Parking lot attendant Lewis Rollins works with the victim in this video. He, thank God, is okay. And I tell him that don't be so crazy because he tried to fight like four guys, you know, like, come on, dude. You are all men. The violent robbery, one of at least five, the NYPD says, have been carried out by this group of nine suspects. They often strike overnight or early morning. Here, they're seen stealing keys from one office, making off with cash and nearly a dozen vehicles, including a Porsche. Police say they stole five vehicles from one Soundview parking lot alone. But does it make you feel unsafe being around here? Like, yes. Parking lot workers tell us they are worried. During this robbery at G and Sons Parking, Police say the worker was not only assaulted, but also tied up. This is part of the job. A scary part of the jobs Rollins has been doing for 11 years, and even he's had to defend himself. I, I grab a machete, I almost killed the guy. So it's all depending who's here. Police and parking lot attendants hoping the violent group is stopped before someone is seriously hurt. So far, three workers have been assaulted in all of these robberies, but no one has had to go to the hospital so far. We're live in the Fordham section of the Bronx. Jackie Beckford, News 4, New York.